Hey everyone, this is a new kind of video for us. This is a toy unboxing. We got this Super Mario set from Jax Pacific. Thank you, Jax, for sending us this. Uh, it comes with seven different pieces. We got those in here. Looks like a couple characters. Let me show you the rest of the box. The back, you see kind of how it can be interchanged a little bit. And what have you. On the sides, we don't really a lot showing off there. It's like a little bit of stuff we've already kind of seen there. And of course, the Super Mario logo there at the top. So, it looks like this is kind of meant for a younger audience, which is fine by me, because I can probably set it up and make a cool little diorama out of it, as I do with many things, like, say, robots. <laughs> Let's open it up. Nice, hard, sturdy box. Easily cuts open with a knife, so that's always helpful. So, I'm going to get it here so I can pull it out so everyone can see everything. Everything is nice in a little container like that. We'll set this box aside over there. Take a little bit over the side here. Let's look at all the parts and pieces, shall we? A lot of stuff. Ooh, wow. Kisses. So it's a whole assembly thing here. All parts and pieces. So it's lump. Got the whole thing. Yeah. And this, so yeah, this is actually probably way bigger than I expected it to be. Nice little set of instructions here. Okay. So this is, <laughs> when I made said diorama, I wasn't kidding. This will actually make quite the diorama when together. So, well, back on there. Probably should set it up before I do that. All right, well, I'm going to open up all these up, and then we... Uh, uh, Come on. This bag doesn't want to open. So it comes together really easy. There's, it's not a lot of parts. They're very big. They're very big and easily to figure out where to go. Everything is. I mean, like I said, the instructions right here is like one. Oops, upside down. Is one little kind of piece of paper here. So it's not. This is not something complex. You'll be able to put this together in a couple of minutes for your kid or for yourself. You get a Mario figurine here. It's him in the fireball version, which is kind of cool. In a weird little like punchy stance. I think I would have liked him in a. Can move his arms move? His arms can move. Never mind, he's not in a punchy stance. Now he looks better. Here you go. Hey, Mario. It's -a me, Mario. Um, so you can actually mess around with him. You know, little fire stick here. For some... <laughs> she fell right over. Cool part about these is you can actually interact. Oops. <laughs> interact. Okay, I forgot went too fast. But you can kind of move these platforms however you want them or move them up and down if you're going to be playing against someone, I guess. Boo. Boo. Uh, you got your little... Swamp trap here, which uh, okay. I'll switch this. Uh, oops. There we go. Boom, all the way down. So you got that. Uh, <laughs> swinging platform here. It's kind of cool. Sorry, this is really awkward to do like from this direction. <laughs> so I'm trying my best. So not only does it work good for setting things up, um, I got kind of a little end thing here. Oops. Yeah, it's alright, I can barely see what I'm doing here, but uh, like I said, very easy to set up, has kind of some cool cool designs here. I think you could use this really well, like I said, as, as if you want to do a diorama thing, it's pretty big. Uh, this is, gosh, a three, four feet, three, two and a half feet big, a little under three feet, I think. But it's pretty well designed here, you got the little lava flow here, like I said, you have all the little traps and things here for Mario to jump on shift things around if you want more of like a 3D, you know, Paper Mario kind of look to it. You can do that as well. This part here. This is pretty cool. I actually kind of wish they had things like this when I was a kid. Uh, the best we had for Nintendo toys when I was young was they had these like figurines you could get of like Mar Mario or Link or I think Samus may have had one. Kind of like Amiibos nowadays except for they didn't do anything cool like Amiibos do. They just were a figure. And this is actually kind of cool to do a, a playset like this. I think they're supposed to be doing a few extra ones too, so we might have, you'll have other locations as well. And I do kind of wish this did come off of Bowser. I think that's the one thing kind of missing here. It's going right in front of me. 
Mario has only a little bit of articulation and just like his arms here, like I, like I discovered when I was playing with this. Uh, so it's not like a heavy thing, but he's a small little figure. So thanks for that. There's a lot of little fun that can be had here. It's very cute, and like I said, it has a lot of, ooh, there's a little thing there. Cool. So you have a lot of different options here for kind of how you want to set it up and play with it, which is pretty cool. I'm just kind of tapping into like the, the minor stuff just from messing with it. Lift my thwomp up. Oops, too high. <laughs> I like the thwomp here if you actually look at it. So it's spikes all around the sides here. So it has the, the classic angry thwomp face. I kind of want this as a paperweight. <laughs> I want like a metal one to just put on my papers. Oops. Yeah, don't put it up too high. It does seem to not like that. But other than that, Ooh, I'm in a down position right now. Wow. Oh. Sorry to do it, but I'm not going to see what I'm doing. Herbal, I, I like this a lot. This is actually pretty cool. It's fun. It's simple. It's made out of uh, th a thick, heavy plastic, so it's not going to break or anything like that. Even the little fire stick here is made out of little sturdier materials, which is kind of nice. So if a younger kid is playing with this, they shouldn't easily break it. If you're an older kid like me and you want this to set this up in your office or in your den or something, it's easy to do. Like I said, it, it clicks together in a couple of minutes and you can set up Mario wherever you want him on this. To look like he's in the middle of trying to go through the castle to rescue Princess Peach. Overall, I, I recommend this if you're a Mario fan and you're looking for something that fits this kind of thing. I mean, it's not, you know, if you want just a standard figurine, you can always go for an amiibo, but if you want something a little more elaborate, a little more show-offy, this is kind of cool. This is the first a Nintendo playset I've ever even had in my collection, and I think it's pretty cool. I uh, would love to see more things like this, maybe like a, I think a Metroid one would look really cool in my room, especially because I got all my robots and stuff anyways. <laughs> or maybe uh, a Legend of Zelda one, of course, would be always cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to have Link battling a Moblin or a Staphos Knight or something in a little dungeon? But overall, yeah, if you're a Mario fan, I say ch check this out. Take a look at it. It's uh, designed for younger kids. If it's for play and if it's for display, I mean, obviously anyone can display it. So, yeah, I think Jack Specific did a great job. I can't wait to see more of their Nintendo play sets.